Hey guys, welcome back. Thunder E here. And today we're going to be comparing two smartphones in the top tier category. I'm talking about the Oppo Find X3 Pro versus the Galaxy S21 Ultra. To find out which of these reigns supreme or you should pick up or whatever you like or you know what, it's fine. Let's just get started. All right. So we have two top tier devices. And if you're watching us for the very first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification icon to watch more videos like this. So I have both the Find X3 Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Both devices are 6.7 inches. They have, of course, similar screen size, but there are differences with that. We know the S21 Ultra quite well. So let's take a look at the Oppo Find X3 Pro. First off, you have a device that has a unique design with the camera hump at the back. That's one of the very first things you notice because it's got this ramp up feel to it as opposed to other devices that either has a hump, a clear hump, or with the S20 Ultra that kind of blends to the side. And we have uh, some distinct cameras built into these. We've got a 50 megapixel uh, main wide lens. We've also got a fixed 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. Uh, we do have a 5X uh, telephoto and we have a, not a macro, but a micro lens, a three megapixel micro lens, which is quite interesting there to see. Now the device itself overall is really nice and well built. Although the variant I have here is that super shiny blackish silver. Well, I'm not a fan of it. I wish I, I got the matte version. There is a matte version and definitely pick that up first. Now, this device comes, of course, with a 12 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon AAA processor. Uh, you do have a 4,500 milliamp battery, thus that thin design look, and of course, a USB port to charge. Now, speaking of charging, when you compare it against the Galaxy S21 Ultra, it does come with its own charger in the box, while the S21 Ultra has forgotten that. So that's a big up there for Oppo. Plus, it comes with a 65 watt charger, which is great compared to the 25 watt charger that is standard if you want to use to get fast charging on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So that's also a big plus here. Now, when it comes to audio, they both have stereo speakers, which is nice, but the Galaxy S21 Ultra does come with Dolby Atmos, so I do like that addition there. Now back to the displays, 6.7 inches for both devices. Uh, you do have punch holes for both. Galaxy S21 Ultra is in the center, while the, um, the Oppo Find X3 Pro is towards your left hand side. Now, both displays uh, offer 120 Hertz refresh rate, uh, which is of course adaptive. So you do have that feature built for both devices. Remember, Oppo did have 120 Hertz last year, but not adaptive, so again, quite similar. Now, when you've got adaptive refresh rate like that 120 hertz, you've got a Snapdragon AAA processor, 12 gigs of RAM, you expect to see some gaming. So let's talk about gaming. As you can see, it supports and plays any kind of game you can think of, whether it's it's uh, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, or Genshin Impact. Now, when it comes to stats and specs, let's take a look at Genshin Impact uh, on both devices. Now, the S21 Ultra here is the Snapdragon version, and also this is a Snapdragon uh, Oppo Find X3 Pro. When it comes to stats, playing Genshin Impact for 30 minutes for both devices, the S21 Ultra comes in at 51 frames per second which is much lower than we'd expect, while the Oppo Find X3 Pro comes in at 56 frames per second, which is great. So you've got a four FPS imp improvement here. The one thing I'll notice is if you're watching the gameplay clips that I showed earlier of the Oppo Find X3 Pro, I noticed I was getting some jump arounds while playing Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. Uh, it wasn't frame rate drops. It looks like there was just connectivity issues constantly. So that is something to bear in mind. But again, this device has not been officially released. So I'm sure it will get fixed. But in terms of gaming performance, we've seen a slight edge. Now, here's where the Galaxy S21 Ultra does much better. The Oppo Find X3 Pro runs super hot, 120 degrees, about 50 degrees Celsius, while the uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra comes in roughly around 112 degrees. So much better temperatures for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now, of course, the next thing we should focus on is cameras. 
Now, both devices have some really great camera uh, arrays. As we mentioned, Oppo has two 50 megapixel cameras, while the Galaxy S21 Ultra has a 108 megapixel camera with, of course, periscopic zoom up to 10x. So let's take a look at some camera footage from both devices. So this is 4K60 on both devices. And we're walking, I'm wearing a mask and talking at the same time. So you get an idea of what image quality is like and also audio quality. We've got the Oppo Find X3 Pro on my left, the Galaxy S21 Ultra on my right. So Oppo does not do 4K60 in the front facing camera, Samsung does. But I'm recording both at 1080p60, giving you this example. So you can clearly see, and then we will finalize this and uh, continue this video. Both devices provide some really solid images during daytime with the Galaxy S21 Ultra, of course, having that periscopic zoom, which is nice to see, especially if you're sightseeing and giving you a better advantage to look at things at a farther distance. The uh, Oppo Find X3 Pro has some really good HDR, as you can see in some of the images we showed earlier, and it does have that microscopic zoom, which can be fun to use, but I don't see any practical use for it. It does also have uh, a macro zoom using the wide angle lens. So that is something you can do with the Oppo Find X3 Pro. I think in terms of uh, camera quality, I think Oppo has done a good job, but I think the Galaxy S21 Ultra does have the slightly upper hand with that, especially with video recording and audio as well. Now, finally, of course, let's talk about battery here. Both devices have large batteries with the Galaxy S21 Ultra coming with 5,000 milliamp battery, thus the chunky nature of the S21 Ultra, while the uh, Oppo Find X3 Pro comes with a 4,500 milliamp battery. I didn't do a battery test on each one, but you can look at the numbers and say 4,500 is smaller than 5,000, but not by much. Uh, but you just have to wait and see. If you're looking at batteries, if you want a bigger battery, the Galaxy S21 Ultra offers you a bigger battery here. So looking at both devices, I think Oppo provides something that people would like to use and see. Uh, the operating system looks really nice. ColorOS has done a lot of huge improvements and it's quite easy to navigate just like you have with, of course, One UI 3.1. If you have any questions or any comments, guys, uh, let me know, is there any device you would like to pick between the one of the two? Do you think the Oppo is the winner? Do you think the Galaxy S21 Ultra is the winner? Leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and watch our very next video about the ROG Phone 3.